Good evening YouTube. So I got a new controller for my home automation system. I used to run the Vera Lite which I purchased uh, about three, I think about three years ago and I've been having trouble with it. It is very low on memory and the last year every firmware update I've done I've had to call into the Vera support people and have them uh, remotely log in and free up some memory and this last time I'm almost a megabyte short so there's basically ran out of memory I think the Vera Lite only had 32 megs of RAM so I picked up this one which is the Vera Plus the nice thing is it's got uh, Wi-Fi support Bluetooth Zigbee as well as Z-Wave the old Vera Lite only had Z-Wave. It didn't have any of the other support. So there's all your uh, pictures on the box. So yeah, your um, oh, 256 megs of uh, DDR3, 128 megs of flash, has a faster CPU, and then you've got all your wireless support there. Still runs on 12 volts, so that's one thing I've planning to actually power this off my solar battery bank. Only difference I think with the Vera Plus it doesn't have the battery backup mode that the Vera Lite had. So that was one of the things Vera Lite had but here is the unit. Not much to it. Yeah, you've got um, single USB Ethernet and there's your 12 volt power just like the Vera Lite had. Select sync and probably a reset button there, a little recessed one. That's about it. We got uh, what do we got here? Let's see what comes with it. Ethernet cable and a little power supply just like the Vera Lite. So that's good. I need to just find a place to plug this in. And we'll see if we can get this up and running on my network. And then I think they, they have uh, two functions. They're in the advanced Z-Wave menu. So there's one function that you can copy the Z-Wave network from an existing controller over to this new one. So that's making this a secondary controller. And the first one is the primary. And then they have what they call a Z-Wave switch function. So you can take your primary and secondary and switch them. Make the master the slave and the slave the master. So I will see if I can do that and get everything running on this one. And we'll see how that goes. So I guess that will be the next step. I'll get this plugged in and we can see what it looks like. So, okay, so I've got the Vera plus power supply plugged into my bench supply after it boots up it looks like right at 4 watts of power and there's the uh, unit running got some blinking lights let me try plugging in an ethernet cable and we'll see what that does well, it goes up a little bit you know, 4.2, 4.4 once you get the network going, that's pretty promising though because my ultimate plan is I want to get rid of this wall wart power supply and replace this with 12 volt DC off my solar battery bank. So if it's taking 4 watts, that's about 300 milliamps at 12 volts, which is not too bad. I don't want to put a whole lot of load on my system since it's going to be on all the time. But yeah, that's pretty reasonable. So yeah, there's that. Let me uh, switch over and we'll see if we can pick the system up on my network and then we can take a look at that. 